Hey guys, my name is Anastasia and you are watching a channel uh, devoted mainly to cross-stitch and anything connected to cross-stitch. Uh, I'm actually kind of hesitating now to mention that uh, I'm a Russian cross-stitcher that lives in Beijing because after a couple of recent videos about China and Chinese New Year, uh, Chinese culture, I got like a ton of unsubscribers. Like after the last video, I got more than 20 people just instantly unsubscribed. And that was a very big shock for me. And uh, because there was no, nothing in that video, not like mm, some politics or some uh, disputed question in that video, nothing. It was just like some traditions and uh, I don't know, life, lifestyle vlog, but I got so many unsubscribers and not even one bad comment. That was very uh, shocking for me because usually the people get angry on something or they don't like something, they will tell you about it and they will then they will unsubscribe or they will continue watching you. But like thinking that more than 20 people just decided to unsubscribe and didn't tell me anything what was wrong or what they didn't like, now I'm like, uh, wait, wait, come back, tell me, tell me, please, because I have no idea what happened. This is still haunting me. I'm like, why? What happened? What was wrong? So, yeah, uh, that was my biggest bad news. Uh, what else? Uh, so today we're doing only cross-stitch video, only cross-stitch. Um, I will show you the new starts of this year because this year I'm doing a year of starts where I will be starting two, three, four new projects every month and I'll be showing them to you and uh, I already started two projects in January, two in February and one we will unpack and start today with you. So mostly only cross stitch today. Uh, what else? Also we have May. Do you want to? Yeah, she wants. <laughs> she saw me, she sees me as a carpet. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna sit like this, okay? You're happy that I'm lying down so you can sit on me? She's actually like sitting on me all the time. The moment I sit down or lie down, she will come running and just jump on me sometimes. So she was a little spooked because I was playing with the camera here a little bit and now she came back. See, she's like so happy. She's purring. So, minute of May. Huh? Wait, May? But I also would like to share with you how my year started cross stitch wise because I think at the beginning of the year I seriously lost my stitch bug. Uh, I don't know what happened or why but I haven't been stitching like at all the first two three weeks of January. That is very unusual to me. Usually like I wake up with the first thoughts like oh today I have an hour for cross stitch yay that's amazing. Usually like I have months where I stitch every single day like that's that's my main um, to do thing to relax or to just gather my thoughts together. That's that's what I do. I, I even when I meet my friends sometimes I just cross stitch because they know that I can talk and uh, play games and everything and I still cross stitch it doesn't matter. But I don't know what happened in January. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do actually anything. Uh, the most I would like wake up and just stay in bed several hours reading books or just playing phone or I even started playing computer games again, but that didn't help either. Like I got bored very fast as well. <laughs> so I'm not sure what happened. Like I seriously lost my cross stitch bug. And even though I try to start new things and new projects, they were really interesting for me. I noticed that I just don't want to go and stage anything. <laughs> so recently I was fighting with it. I started to fight with it and I made a post on Instagram and the people um, told me that it will, could be actually not me, not my fault, but just like winter apathy because everyone during the winter is feeling it. And here in Beijing, I totally agree. Uh, we don't have white winter. We don't have like usual winter. It's like just a very cold late fall where it's already no um, no leaves on the trees, everything is gray, everything is dull, the sky is 
gray and uh, not sunny like 90% of the week maybe once a week there will be a sunny day the rest is just gray and dull maybe a little foggy and then it's like yeah when we had snow it would snow we'll have maybe two magical days and then the snow will melt and just again gray and boring so people told me maybe just uh, winter time and I'm liking vitamin D I'm liking like physical exercise so I decided to push myself push myself through um, just start doing things and uh, maybe this will wake up my stitch bug so I signed up for yoga classes I still have my Chinese uh, classes in the morning so now in the evenings after work I will go to yoga and hopefully this will help me to get more energized also, I'm hoping after this month, we'll have a full-blown spring coming. So the winter apathy will stop. So February will be like the hardest, but it's only 10 days left of February. I'm so looking forward to March. So looking forward to March. Are you, are you looking forward to March too? Are you looking forward to March too? Even started gardening on my windowsill because during the winter, no plants wanted to grow and I actually lost like a lot of seedlings. Uh, but now they're growing, they're sprouting, actually it gives me a lot of happiness. Let me just flip you over and start showing you my cross stitch. You're here for it, right? So what I've been stitching, uh, my year started with a new start. First start of 2022. It's a kit by a Chinese designer. Uh, no idea her name, her brand name is Orangnal, Orange Now. Um, also don't know how to pronounce it correctly and I don't know the name of the design because I think this is the name of the design I, I need to ask Aaron who I said but right now I'm calling it like Egyptian cats because like sure um, it's a really big design and I already showed you like uh, the whole unboxing I have several videos ago made a huge unboxing of several kits by Chinese uh, companies from Taobao so this was one of them and we discussed every little aspect of it. So there I said that it's a huge project. It's like a ginormous project, especially if you stitch it on 14 count or on 28 count, it will be like 59 to 49 centimeters. It's ginormous. So I decided not to make it that big because if I will stitch it uh, as it is, it will be bigger than this whole table. I will show you how big this table is. Like this whole table, it will be much bigger. So, and where would I frame it and put it? Like this, I will need to specify the whole wall of our apartment just for this project. And then I was like, ah, I'm not sure I want the whole wall to be specifically made for Egyptian cat lady. So what I decided to do is that I would stitch the whole design in petite stitches and uh, I started in the middle the middle was the page number 11 and this is what I have now I finished the whole page <laughs> yes it's a time I will show you the page uh, it's already all marked down and yes when it comes to the paper patterns I'm marking them I'm a total barbarian with the mm, my working sheets i don't make copies of them but i'm not gonna resell or re-gift this pattern because the designer was uh very cautious about this project going viral and um i'm not sure she wants it like to re-gift or resell so that's why i will use it just for myself <laughs> And any of the leftovers of the floss I will use, any leftovers of the paper I will use, like everything I will use and not give it to anyone. I'm sorry, I cannot share this one with you. But you can go to her website and order. So first I started with hooping in a big hoop and you can see the marks. Yes, I iron my works, but I didn't iron them too much because they're all whips, just, just to for you to see. But then it's like so big, so I rehooped it in a medium size hoop and it was perfect. And just let's see i will show you how big the whole piece of fabric is the piece of fabric has uh, um, some margins of course it's not the whole thing should be staged but it has like 10 10 maybe seven centimeters of margins so it's like like this big margins oh everything else should be staged on and this page should be at least like a <laughs> like this big 
Now it's so small. It's so tiny. Yeah, I will have ginormous margins on this project, but to tell the truth, it has 28 pages. So even though this is a tiny one, when I will finish, it will be like maybe two pages of A4, something like that, or something more like this, maybe. Mm, maybe it will be the size of this, like this. So it is a decent size project, even though I'm stitching it in petites. And even after I will finish stitching it, I will be able to just frame it and put it on my wall. Though I'm not sure how long I will be stitching it. Like I'm in no pressure, like I'm not pressuring myself to finish it this year or next year. No way. Uh, this year I'm planning to do stitch staining again in May and maybe try to finish my magpies and persimmons. Uh, so instead of magpies and persimmons, this will be a May focus project. So I think maybe each May I will be adding two, three pages. It will still take me a decent amount of years, but maybe at some point I will be tired of it and will stitch it like one page per month or per two months. I don't know, but I'm, I don't believe I will let it be for 10 years no probably like the most i think five six years project <laughs> but it has 28 pages okay 28 pages so it's decent it's decent and to make it worse <laughs> uh, this is the number of uh colors it has it has two of these i didn't braid this one so it's kind of eh, like this we'll put it away but just let's see how many blends I had in this tiny page. Like I used this many blends and this many blends and this many blends. Like I used at least half of all the blends that exist in this project on just one page. One page! And there is so many Ah, oh, confetti stitching. So much confetti stitching, like just maybe three, four little pieces here and that's it for the whole page. Or like this blue is different blue from here and it's different blue from here and it's totally different blue from here. So they're all different shades of blue and every blue has its blends <laughs> and every yellow and gray and every everything has its blends. <laughs> So, though it looks amazing, it took me a while. It took me about, I would say, two weeks. Though I didn't stitch every day and I didn't stitch much, but it did take me around two weeks to finish this little page. That's why I think if I focus on it, I will be able to do maybe three pages per month. <laughs> But I don't want to kill myself. I don't want to kill myself over it. And I'm happy. I'm happy I managed to finish this page. Uh, because um, if someone of you who watched my latest video about this project, I was wondering if I would be able not only to stitch it in pentates, but also save every detail in backstitch. Because, of course, like I will be making it much smaller and stitching backstitch on this size is so difficult. You can see how much detail in there. Like, and it all needs backstitching. Like it's heavily backstitched. And I'm so happy to say that I did it. By the way, speaking about cats, you may not hear it, but right now May is sleeping on her nest and she is snoring. Like she is snoring. <laughs> She's like, ah, I'm tired of you. I will just snore. Second start of uh, January was the tiger, and uh, I started uh, maybe like on the last day of January. It was a very late start, but I did it! I I'm so, so proud of myself. So this one is a tiger by Nadezhda Gavrilenkova, and uh, just recently I made a video about all the tiger patterns that I found interesting out there. and. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of them caught my eye. I would stitch most of them. Some of them are really so cool. I mean, like those tigers with like 
fierce expression and like are ready to jump you. Those are kind of cool. I would stitch them for myself, but this one I decided to make as a present for my in-laws. Thing is, uh, they are tigers according to their uh, Chinese zodiac. And actually this year they are getting 60 years old. But Chinese people don't celebrate 60. They don't celebrate like um, uh, tens. They celebrate like 59 or 49, 69. Like this is the ginormous party. But when you're like 30, 40, 50, 60, you don't celebrate your birthday. I don't know why. So that's why there is no pressure for me to stitch it to the, till their birthday this year. Their birthday is in April, like mom's birthday maybe 4th of April or dad's birthday is 8th of April. Like that's crazy how close it is, but this will give me an amazing opportunity to give them one present or two. And actually like I chose a very, this very calm and nice design because one side is like a majestic tiger, which will be like, I will explain it as a father. And another side is like a beautiful like peony or wh what kind of fi uh, flower it is. And this is like the mother. So they're all together on this picture, even though there is one animal here. So I think they would love it. And when I was starting this project, I found out that I really lack fabrics in my stash. I need to buy more. So maybe this week I'm gonna order, or maybe next week I'm gonna order a big order of fabrics from Taobao because I kind of have several different colors, but the ones I have are all either small or like middle sizes. And I don't have enough fabric for bigger projects. Like this project itself will be so big that I will have like tiny, tiny, tiny margins. I don't know what I'm gonna do when I will frame it. Like maybe lacing will save me or I will have to sew in some extra fabric here. No idea. But it's a linen, it's kind of stiff. Not, not like bad stiff, but it's not super soft. So I think it will be easy to iron it and uh, put it in a frame. Like I wouldn't need to stretch it too much to give it a good um, grip. So I started with the tiger face and I think I will continue with the tiger. Like if I want to finish it before the next year's birthday, not this year, but the next year's, I decided to stitch 1000 stitches every month because this work has 12,000 stitches exactly for a year. And it will give me like maybe a couple months of not stitching the tiger if I will be extremely busy or something will happen. Like it will give me some, some ways <laughs> of uh, figuring it out. So 12 months of stitching the tiger ahead of me <laughs> and uh, framing it. Yeah, uh, let's focus on it and uh, really stitch it. Not uh, like uh, my project my project <laughs> for my friend, which I was stitching and finishing and framing on the day I was gifting it to her, okay? <laughs> that was a bad, bad thing as a friend of me. Uh, by the way, can I complain a little? Do you know what she gifted me that Christmas? A face mask. I mean, one face mask. Not even a box, just a face mask. I don't know what to say about it. So just a little complain. Next start is a February start. And the first start on February is Dimensions. Also, in one of the latest videos, I already showed you all my finished uh, winter projects that I have. And among those, I have two finished uh, ornaments by Dimensions. Uh, that's a company. Uh, they are called like winter ornaments and they all have their, like just a number or this one is like called love ornament. They, they don't have like special super big name or something. Just like winter ornaments love, winter ornaments hope, winter ornaments something else. And I reminded myself that I needed to stitch four more. So I decided not to put away it for a long time and just start it. And yeah, it's not too big, not like other projects, but it's also not small. It's like actually not small and it requires a lot of attention and a lot of effort. So during this year, probably I will need to start a couple more <laughs> if I wanna really focus on them. And plus it will be easy to finish. Like I understand that by the end of this year, I will have like I have already around 15 to 17 projects, plus will be 30 new starts. So I might 
finish this year with 50 projects if I don't finish anything. Mm. So I was thinking like this project is still bigger than the minimum. So it fits, it fits like in the middle size. And I will be able to finish it like in between the starts because for every start I'm giving thousand stitches. Like I will stitch it thousand stitches. Mm, it does take me around a week because I'm going to work, I'm doing something else, um, my classes and uh, um, other things. But mm, it does take me around five, six, maybe a whole week. I don't know. So if I'm doing two, three starts per month, it will take me mostly all month to just stitch them. Uh, but I still have some extra days. So instead of just doing nothing, I thought I might just take some of my older whips and stitch them in those days that I'm not doing my new starts. So maybe by the end of the year, I will have like two finishes, three finishes at least, you know, like the year of starts and two finishes, <laughs> something like that. So I thought it was, it was kind of smart on my part to do something middle, middle size. And plus, I, I really do need to start them and finish. Uh, yep, this is a thousand stitches, but it looks bigger because it's half stitches. And uh, just two half stitches is one stitch, right? So it's kind of 2,000 half stitches. So that's why it's so dense and big and red. And plus, uh, I don't know, maybe after the tiger and after the Egyptian cats, I was craving some colors. So I decided to like, really start with red. I don't know, there are other birds that will have like green around or other colors, but I wanted red. <laughs> maybe, maybe February, maybe because it's, uh, uh, 14 February this year, like St. Valentine's Day, plus it says, spells love, and it will have some other color inside them in full cross. Uh, but it does spell love already, and it has a red cardinal here. Okay, um, my second start this month was Hagada uh, by Russian designer Olga Lankevich. And she has her own mm, group, Paradise Stitch. You can also find her on Instagram as Paradise Stitch. And I already showed several times in my videos her patterns and that they are in my heart, in my wish list, in my thoughts. So I finally decided to start just one of them. And I'm happy to say that this year I am planning to stitch quite a lot of Russian designer patterns. Not only them, but uh, quite a lot of them. But majority of them will be new to me. So I won't be just stitching my favorite designers all year and just starting more and more and more projects by the same designer. No, I'm kind of planning to just make one project by the same designer. So it will be like 30 different projects by different designers, different companies, different kids. But at the same time, it will give me the insight to each and every of these designers. So maybe after I finish them, I can choose which one is my new best. <laughs> so, plus this February is like what? Aviary? How, how do you pronounce it? I'm not sure. But it's like a hashtag on Instagram where everyone is stitching birds for the February. So I have one bird uh, in dimensions. I said like, why not? I will start just another pattern with a bird. And this is one of my favorite. She has four patterns with the similar designs with this uh, um, like Japanese or Chinese umbrellas and just different backgrounds. But I think this was one of the most Chinese ones, like that looked the most Chinese because it has pagoda and these umbrellas do look like Chinese ones. Others, for example, with a sakura building, uh, with a sakura tree was more Japanese to me. So I thought this one would be good. And uh, I decided not to kit it up I just took a piece of fabric, and by the way, it's again the 18 count Ada, so no one can actually say that I prefer linen by now. Uh, I just had two more new starts with Ada, and I'm loving it. I cannot complain about it. It's hard, and the best for me is using like a sharp needle when I'm stitching it, but I'm not in a rush, so it's perfect. Even though they have like three quarters of stitches, I'm using sharp needle to get like in the middle of the square. And three quarters is easy. Um, what else? I chose just two colors. I get them from my stash. Uh, 700 stitches in like this badge and 300 stitches in purple. And it's actually like the outline of the first umbrella. So it will be easier for me next time to just uh, like uh, choose some 
piece and uh, like stitch the peacock or stitch like the ladder or the mountain or the packet. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't have enough fabrics in my stash, so this was the only blue I had and I'm not sure I will have very good margins for it though. Like this design needs to be framed not like too tight in a frame. Uh, I'm not sure how it will go, but I'll give it a try. I'll give it a try. Before I will show you what new start we will be doing today, probably I will be stitching it while editing this video, I want to show you what else I've been stitching during these two months. So February was kind of active for me because I was fighting my stitch bag, I was pushing myself to stitch even though I didn't want to, and when I didn't want to stitch, I was stitching Fruzzy Lock. This is a kit by Fruzzy Lock and it's a winter wreath. I think I started it last winter, so it's a rather new start for me. And uh, I love stitching on wood, it gives me especially amazing feelings, plus it's very easy to um, get it up, like it has only one palette of colors, the white, white, one piece of uh, one uh, carton thingy like this of colors. So I just randomly choose a color and stitch it in. But not very randomly, because though it's a winter wreath, it has no dull colors. All the colors are very bright and sunny and happy. And as you saw, I did the red like last winter, and this time I started with green. And maybe because I was fighting with um, winter apathy, I wanted more green in my life. <laughs> so every day that I wasn't stitching my new starts, or every day that I didn't feel like stitching at all, I would choose like maybe 20 minutes before bed, 30 minutes before bed, and I would just stitch like what, 20 stitches, 10 stitches, like wh whatever, whatever there is. And I would choose the green, and I would go, go, go watch some movie and stitch the green, and I would really feel better. Like, when I say I push myself to stitch, it's not because I hate stitching, I love stitching. So when I do stitch, I feel so better, so relaxed, so like on my place, you know, in the right, in the right place. Uh, but when I'm not stitching, it's mm. difficult for me to like, okay, now I have to go sit down and stitch. And I'm like, oh, I don't want to sit down. I want to lie down. <laughs> oh my God, I want to go and find something. So they, uh, recently I've been keeping this project like just in the, in the reach of my hands. So anytime I'm on the sofa or at the table, I could just reach it, grab it and do 20 stitches. And it's really helping me. Plus the colors are amazing. And I'm kind of thinking maybe by the end of the year, if I stitch and stitch and stitch on this, it will be a finish. I'm not promising anything. And also I was stitching these roses um, because in the January I stitched like maybe three roses I lacked and now I'm stitching another one. So for Chinese New Year, I gave my mom-in-law and uh, aunties roses, plus I actually sell one of these. Not a big profit, it's like what? The whole thing cost me like maybe 40 yuan and uh, they paid me 100. So the profit was like 60 for three days of work. <laughs> so mm, not, not a big profit really. Like, I can't even take Aaron to dinner for 60 yuan. It's, it's not much. It's really not much. This is how they send me this from Taobao. This is like a full kit. Yeah, they're just in a bag. It has a pattern, has some floss, and of course it has a metal, like, bookmark where you can stitch. It's already perforated. The point was that, first of all, it's so blingy. Yeah, it's very difficult to stitch it during the day. It's difficult to stitch it at night. The... Design is the easiest, but it's difficult to actually stitch it because you cannot sometimes see the holes. You, you have to like find it and it's, uh, it's just a pain in the ass to stitch them. But they look amazing. But my thought originally was that when I saw this rose on the website and this is not a design by this like seller. Uh, I am pretty sure they stole it somewhere <laughs> because there are at least like 10 other sellers on Taobao who is selling the same mm, bookmarks with the same pattern. And judging by how Orang now was like super overprotective of her design and didn't want any leak of like DMC numbers or anything. So you cannot resell it. These designers, they just send us the DMC numbers 
they send us the design, they send us everything like this. So I was thinking this may be a Soda Stitch, a Korean company that makes like cute fairy tale designs. Uh, but after I searched the whole website, I didn't find this rose not um, by itself, not like a part of some design. I couldn't find any other flowers that will go like well with it. Yeah, there are tons of other flower flowers, but they were not in the same um, style. And because I was stitching like three of them together and would give them to three ladies that know each other very close and they will open the presents at the same time. I didn't want it to be like one of them is a rose, another of them is a, like Disney princess, another of them is something else. So I wanted them to be in the same style though a little bit different. So what I did is that I stitched every rose different color. Like I had a blue rose, a dark red, a light red, pink one, and this one will be purple. Why I need another one? Because we still didn't visit the auntie that lives with Aaron's grandpa. And this is a rose for her. She's not like living with grandpa. She's um, his son's wife. So they are just taking care of him. Uh, not that auntie. <laughs> mm. So I'm still needing to finish this rose. But in this February, I also put in some uh, time in her. Uh, the rose itself will be purple. There are four colors of purple, three colors of green, and acro for the background. And you say, why would you background it? It looks amazing without it. Yeah, but when I will try to cover it, because I cannot obviously give this as a present. Like this. Yeah. So when I will try to cover it, it will be so see-through. And I was actually going, because I don't have the same color metal for the back, I was going for felt. Maybe purple felt or maybe like some... I was actually going for purple or lavender. And if I just put a purple or lavender felt, it will look really out of place. And the, maybe the bros won't be seen so distinct. So I thought I will cover it up with the background, just plain acro. It's not white. It's not like super white white. It's a little like beige white, but it still looks good. And it gives a distinct like shadow, outshine <laughs> of the rose. Yep, this is it. And now you're ready to see what I'm gonna start today as soon as I finish this video. Like, I specially just waited for it to just unpack it with you together. And yep, I just removed this cover because it's very, very crinkly. Let's put it away. Ta-da! Another frizzle log. You would say, oh, another, we just saw the winter wreath. Yeah, but last spring I ordered a huge box of frizzle log uh, from a friend in Russia. And if you don't know that story, it's like was a lot of time of waiting and uh, overpaying twice mm. the price of the box just to receive it here in China. Mm, so I have several of them and they're all quite big and I want to start them because it's been almost a year and yeah, last year I finished one of the projects and I started another, so now I'm starting number three. Mm, these are the swans and uh, yeah, I'm just feeling like something romantic, something like nature, something spring-like, just to give myself um, more... Happy vibes. Oh, we have some crane ink. And interesting thing, they're using DMC, they are using crane ink, but they also use like Saga app, on my, uh, which I use for my phone. So they have paper and cross-stitch Saga chart. They have paper chart and they you can actually scan the QR code in the side of this paper. I will show you right now. And you can get it for your phone. It's like the best present they could give um, the cross-stitchers when the designer or the company is listening to what the... Mm, the pyres want and they actually comply and they actually do it so there are now a lot of people are stitching using this app so they themselves are doing it they don't want uh, because it's so easy for people to just leak the pattern when they're looking for uh for it <laughs> or when just their friends asking oh you have it on the app give me a more so they are actually selling it themselves with the app so now you don't need to go to the internet and try to find or ask someone for the app you can just purchase it and if you don't need paper, just throw it away. <laughs> but yeah, also their patterns are like super nice. They have a dimension style of um, signs. They have like pure black ones. So they also have like red or green or like here is pink. So it's kind of like colored chart, though it's not like super, super colored, but it's still distinct and you can see and even like 
for me, I, I don't like uh, paper charts, I can easily see where is like one color and where is the next color, so it's so easy. So they also give us a little card, and this is so cute. I don't know, I love it. Well, let's see first here. So here they actually give you a QR code, which you can use to get the, uh, the pattern. So they have 24 colors, three blends only. Which is actually cool, only three blends. They have craning. The interesting thing is that you don't stitch with craning, but when you finish all the crosses and half stitches, you will go with half stitch craning over your stitches on the lotuses and all over all the flowers, and maybe a little bit on the swan, like the shine from the water or something like this, because I just looked at the pattern. It's not a circle. I'm, I'm not so sure, like I didn't check 100%. But it wasn't a circle, it was more like a, a drop of water shape. So I'm thinking that the shade of gold should be on the flower and on the neck on the swan. So it's like kind of shining from the water that gives this shimmer of craning. I don't know, but it's so cool. Then we have, ooh, that's my favorite part. It feels so like, like velvet, like, like, the ass of an angel. It's so cool. I mean, so soft and nice and I'm just loving it. And it smells. If you can smell it, oh, you would understand me. So also they have a pre-cut piece of felt, which actually covers this piece like 100%. Oh, two needles. That's cute. I'm not 100% happy that they're using dark brown, uh, but I think they use dark brown for all their uh, kids because so far when I like there will be dark brown for this uh, uh, wreath and there was dark brown for my wreath uh, for my summer uh, fall wreath and there was dark brown for the picky so they're all very thick uh, three millimeter Korean felt hard one dark brown um, actually like if it was me I would prefer prefer something like green or maybe yellowish because it will look good but in hindsight it will be in the back you won't see it much unless you try and turn it. And if I really want to change, I can. It's not like a must, just suggestion. But if I'm lazy <laughs> enough and I don't want to like change it, I can just use whatever they give me. Yep. But look at these colors. Like the colors is what made me want to start it. First of all, they have two extra DMC skeins, which is really cool. And uh, they have some extra whites. Nah, not interesting. But look at this. They have so many greens and like they even have pink here and pink here, the blues, <gasps> yellows. Yeah, this will definitely give me the f like what? Spring, summer vibes. Um, something like about the swans in the lake and uh, uh, me sitting on the bank of this lake and just looking at them and they will be like swing there and the sun will be shining and outlining the flowers it, it will be amazing like just imagining how i will sit there and stitch and see this picture already makes me more happy <laughs> than before <laughs> so i think today i will start with the greens and with the flowers like right now it's winter so i'm not in the mood to start anything like beige or white i think i will save it for maybe summer when it is super hot outside so stitching white is not a problem so maybe to start with something green right now because I'm, I'm just in the mood. And they have Krainik. That is so cute. Yep, on a tiny, tiny, tiny bobbin. Wait, can you see it? It's the size of my nail. Tiny bobbin. Okay, so this will be my new start today. The third start of February. I don't have a lot of um, haul <laughs> for every month, but this month I got some presents from Erin. So I wanted to share them with you. Oh, bless you, May. She was just sneezing. So cute. She was sneezing up too. Oh, just cute. So this will be the project for me and Erin this weekend. And unfortunately, my videos come out on Friday, so I cannot film it this week. But I will include the video of how we are making it uh, next week. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Don't unsubscribe, please. Like, that was really a big blow for me, right? <laughs> I, I'm still traumatized. <laughs> What happened? I don't know, I'm not gonna talk about it, but the uh, thing is, I several months ago for Chinese Valentine's, I gave Aaron some uh, little Lego kits of uh, Pokeballs. So he decided to give me another Lego, 
uh, he gave me flower bouquet. Why? Because every time I buy some flowers, May will come, hop on the table, which we do not allow her, and she never does unless there are flowers on it. And she will eat the flowers, and then she will be allergic to them. She will be covered in red, big splotches. She will be all itchy and hurt herself, and then she will poop badly, like very badly. So what we decided to do, like what Aaron decided to do, I was not part of it, <laughs> is that he wanted to give me flowers, but not real ones. So he chose Lego flowers. And that's a very cool idea because just, just look at that. Like you put the flowers in a vase, like a real ones, but they're made of Lego. And my question was like, are you sure she's not gonna climb the table to try to eat these? And if she eats these flowers, she won't <laughs> need to poop. We all need to have operation on her to take them out. And he said, now we're gonna put them like somewhere far away from her so she can't reach them. But at least I got some flowers. I'm still not sure how I'm gonna assemble it because they seem to have very long legs and uh, I'm not sure if they're gonna stand or they're gonna break. Uh, I, I don't know, I didn't unpack it. But seriously, it says 18 plus. Like what Lego pieces have 18 plus on them? Like, I, I was 100% sure it's a for kids. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they put 18 plus on this Lego? Okay, so I've got this to do next weekend. And one more thing I wanted to share with you that Aaron again gave me. Like, don't think about it. Like, Aaron always gave me presents. No, I took him to a very nice restaurant for St. Valentine's and I paid for it. <laughs> so uh, that's why that was my present. He actually saw this on TikTok. Uh, some German speaking Chinese, um, he was talking about his uh, like hometown in Germany where they produce these um, chocolates and uh, he asked people to go and buy from there, from their company. So Aaron ordered it and it's very interesting because each of these chocolates have some kind of alcohol in it. Yesterday we tried the pink ones and it was some kind of whiskey with um, some sweet rose um taste i would say it was like kind of a rose wine or something but it was whiskey and it really was alcohol taste but it's not bad i mean when you chew the candy it wasn't liquid inside it didn't just pour it no it was actual chocolate made of this uh whiskey so it was distinct but not bad it was actually very sweet and i don't want to brag about it i just wanted to show you because when i opened it I didn't want to eat it, I just wanted to look at it. It's so beautiful. Like, I don't know, because when I was growing up, um, maybe we had some not very good quality chocolates in the boxes, so I kind of got disappointed with chocolate boxes. And I never buy myself any chocolate boxes, and I am kind of disapproving of them. <laughs> I just buy myself some pieces of chocolate or chocolate bars. Um, but as soon as I tried these ones, I'm like, whoa! So they will have some whiskey and champagne and amaretto and Jamaican rum. Um, download this one uh, with something about cognac. It's all in German, so I'm not sure. But every time we will maybe translate it and find it. So yesterday we tried one and there are two of each. So each of us can eat one. And we decided that every day we will come home and congratulate ourselves with, for an amazing day of work with one candy. Ta-da! Like this, look at it! It's like, it's a real eye candy. I don't want to eat it as much as I want to look at it. It is so good. Yeah, we just finished the pink ones. But others are still intact in there. And wow. They do smell alcohol. And they are really good. They're not hard or like dry or anything. They are amazing! It's like the chocolate, when you go to a special mm, chocolate only making shop and they specifically make you a piece of chocolate, that's that kind of chocolate. It's like very good. So I hope you like them as much as I do because they're so cool. Maybe if you would be interested, I can make stories on my Instagram and kind of post about them, which will be what is inside and what they taste like. But I'm sure they will taste amazing. Okay. okay, enough of bragging, because I feel like I will have another f flow of unsubscribes after this. I just wanted to share about uh, my little garden on the windowsill. 
like uh, I have normal plants here and these ones are the baby of that plant over here because he got so long that uh, May was trying to eat it standing on this table and she kind of dropped several times the plate and the vase so I decided to make it smaller and actually have new ones but what I'm actually proud of are these oh don't look at my dirty windows we ordered a window cleaning service because it's the eighth floor I'm not climbing out of the eighth floor to wash the windows no thank you so we ordered the service to wash the windows tomorrow <laughs> and I'm making the videos today like we are doing lego tomorrow we are washing windows tomorrow but the video is today hmm. so and this is actually like a piece of potato I just put there and this is how much it grew can you imagine it I think this one's maybe parsley but I will need to wait and see how they grow and these ones are radishes and no I am not uh, growing them to have a real radish I understand that this is a little too small to have a real size radish for dinner <laughs> I'm just growing them because I like to see green <laughs> so they're kind of cute this is one of the things I'm doing while I'm not stitching <laughs> and I think all is left is to share my plans with you for the end of the month and the new starts for March and maybe some video plans. First of all, I want to share that maybe at the end of February, Erin is going on a business trip. And if that will happen, I will have a couple days. Thank you. Yeah, that happens. It's okay. I'll clean up later. So if that will happen, um, I will have a couple days free, uh, maybe during the week. So I will still have some work to do, but the rest of the time will be completely free. And... Um, this will give me an amazing opportunity to do 24 hours of cross-stitch. Uh, because usually when he's here, it's not very comfortable. But if he's not here, me and just me, maybe some work, maybe no work. Who knows if it will be on the weekend. So I already did a couple times 24 hours of cross-stitch. Um, and if you haven't seen it, go and watch it. Those videos are fun. <laughs> So maybe this time I can actually focus on one project and you can time out how much I can do if I stitch 24 hours non-stop. You're just gonna stay there. <laughs> what a polite girl. She didn't want to sneeze on me anymore so she go away and sneeze on the side. Very polite girl. Very polite girl. Yeah, she has some problems with her nose again. But we will cure you, don't worry. In just a couple of days recently was especially cold. Like we had a warmer weather for a week and then a big drop in the temperature, like 10 degrees drop at least. And I think she got a little cold. So we're not washing her this week and just putting her in as much clothes as we can. <laughs> She'll be fine. Also wanna share with you my next three stars for March uh, because I'm not sure if I will be making another video about new stars soon. Uh, I have something else planned. So what I will be starting in March is first picture of May from Stitch Box Designs. And actually I had a blast talking to the designer and just um, uh, organizing it, uh, her to make a picture of May last year because she was amazing. I actually sent her a picture of May and after a week she sent me a preview of the pattern back. But the my thing was that I sent her the picture of me where she could clearly see her face, but on the picture she was still a little thin when we just took her from a rescue shelter. And in real life, she already got a little like round face. So I asked her, could she redo her face not too long, but like rounder? And the designer was like, yeah, sure, of course. So like, uh, can you send me another picture? And I sent her another picture just like of her face right now. And she was so kind that she was like, yeah, sure, I will redo it. No extra charges, nothing. Just so you will have a perfect picture of your animal. And I was loving it. So unfortunately, I couldn't, I didn't start it yet. But now the March Madness and I could actually go mad and start it. So the second uh, new start that I'm planning to do will be a new release by a Russian designer, Yulia Zoltova. I haven't stitched that designer yet, anything from her yet. So that's why I'm kind of looking forward to it. She has very 
nice aesthetics like a lot of her patterns i really love how she's drawing them and uh, the back stitch and everything I'm, I'm loving her style but i haven't stitched her any anything from her yet so the pattern i will be stitching is um, i think it's called like violet dream or like purple dream something like this and it's a cat skull and no i'm not thinking anything about like death or something i'm just uh, like uh I like the aesthetics and it would look really cool on something like um, dark brown or even like steel color of background and the purple dreams and the purple skull it will look amazing i think it will look good with other um, darkish <laughs> uh cross stitches i have in my cross stitch corner one from the night spirit studio and one of the matryoshka so i think this will look good together, so I'm doing that one. Mm -hmm. And number three is a start by again with Russian designer, but I'm not sure about her yet. Um, my point is, she's a new designer, and uh, I haven't stitched anything by her, but she has amazing designs, amazing. But her patterns are really pricey, like very pricey, and she's doing just patterns. But one pattern is a price as is the same price as a kit and it's not paper pattern it's like electronic patterns so i don't know it's like comparing normal pattern design to the price of mirabilia something like this so she has very pricey patterns um just for example same size um uh, tigers was 400 rubles her design would be 2700 rubles like that you don't need to know how much it is in dollars just comparing rubles like normal designer maybe it's bigger okay if we would take like the most expensive designer uh, designed by russian designer i've ever bought was 700 and hers is 2700 wow but the point is i love her design but it also have this little patterns of flowers which you actually had to buy extra to fill in the design in the middle is of the flower which represents the love and care and happiness i will talk it more if i start about it then i will talk about it more but actually to complement complement the design uh, there are 20 extra flowers which you choose from her designs and you complement it like uh, this flower is for extra protection that one is for like happiness that one is for the health of the mother i don't know like like extra 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 to put in and uh, you stitch it and you put, fill in with uh, some energy thoughts and it will make your wish come true the the whole thing is about it i don't want my wish come true i just love the design like like these greens and reds on blue i love how it looks but to get extra 20 smaller flower designs they cost 300 each the small designs they cost 300 each so it makes six thousand for 20 smaller designs plus 200 700 uh, 2700 for the main one eight thousand seven hundred for the whole design it's just blowing my mind it, it's too much it's like more it's almost the same price i paid for the box of fruzilog kits i had five kits from fruzilog delivered from Russia for 10,000 and I will have to pay almost 9,000 for one electronic pattern yeah it's super big yeah it has some special meaning about the desires and the wishes so I'm thinking maybe I will just buy the middle design just start with it and if I really feel like doing all the extra ones maybe I can buy one a year and just add them or if by the end I finish the middle part, I'm like, I'm done with that. Fuck it. Then I will not buy it. So what do you think? Should I give it a try? Invest in it? <laughs> yeah. I don't care the, about the part about the wish. I don't, I don't believe in it. I, I believe we get what we work for. So if you work for your wish, it will come true. If you just sit on a sofa, nothing will come your way yeah if you just sit on a sofa nothing will come our way yeah let's go work for it let's go work baby and i have one more question for you soon in march 
There will be a huge installation in Moscow, uh, which will present all the new designs by the biggest Russian companies of cross stitch. It's kind of like Nashville Needle Market, but you actually can go there and buy yourself anything. Like all the big companies, they will bring their kids and they will sell um, one by one, like to people, not to the companies or not to the shops. The shops can actually uh, make orders there, but you can buy anything you want there. But it will be a big gathering in Moscow. It's actually twice a year in September and in March. And every year they present new pa new kits. Yeah, some, some of the Russian designers, they will get there and they will present their new designs. But I'm more interested in the big companies like Panna, Open, RTO, what they will present. And there will be new things from Frunzilok and from others. So would you be interested in me making a video about all the new things? Because of course I won't be able to come there and see it firsthand, but I will be able to go through the footage of all the Russian bloggers and Russian um, Instagrams and their websites to see what are the new things they are presenting this year and to show it to you. So if you're interested in, you can actually ask the shops or just to make orders from Russian shops to send them to you. I, I know people actually were able to buy things from mybobbins.com and I think they will be selling new things and uh, from other places too, like even from directly from the websites. So would you be interested in a video like that? Well, because I think it's a lot of work uh, for me to do to find all the new things from the best companies in Russia that produce costage. And I think they are, they deserve your attention as well as uh, Russian designers, even though I won't be able to receive anything here because the, can, the mail connection from Russia right now is not good. But what do you think? Would you like to see the new things? I think that would be interesting. But I will wait for your reply before I will start organizing that video because that's a lot of work. And if you're like, nah, we're fine. We have initial needle market. That's enough for us. We don't need anything, any new kits for Russia. We don't need any new kits from Russia. Okay, that's, that's less work for me. <laughs> um, so what do you think? Please don't forget to like this video because the recent unsubscribers, that was like a real knife in the heart. Like why? What happened? That was a big blow for me and I'm still, I'm still a little upset about it. So please give me a like so I will cheer up. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. <laughs> so I'll see that nothing it's not all in vain and tell your friends about so maybe they will want to subscribe maybe they will be interested in new things coming from russia so thank you everyone for your attention and now i will be going and having self-care day self-care vibe because i will be having some face mask a glass of wine or two some stitching of a new project and of course I will be editing this video and uploading it right away and see you again next week for more fun bye